Hello everyone, my name is Janus and I'm the developer of Dwarfblock. Last time I made a video was three weeks ago. So what happened you may ask? Yeah, quite a lot actually. First there were the Ludum Dare. After that I was quite busy supervising a couple of bachelor theses. But it doesn't mean I've been idle the whole time. Instead I've been developing the new battle mode. Currently, you are watching the first step of it, which is building the arena layout. But as you may notice, at the top of the screen, there are actually four steps. I'm going to describe them in just a moment, but first, let's talk about the building step. Here the player can design their own battlefields. Currently, he can just uh, place down a couple of uh, fences and barricades, but in the future, I will add more building blocks and more ways to customize your map. I'm still working on a way to rotate these tiles, and you can leave me a comment about what keys on a keyboard or controller would you like to use. This is the new battle settings window where the author of the battle can customize the rules. He will choose which types of enemies, dwarves and which weapons are available for the battle. And if there are other settings, they will all appear in this window. Now the author will proceed to the second step, which is placing the enemies. Automatically, the hotbar items will be changed to previously selected enemy types. Similarly, the player will proceed to placing the allies, which is also the third step. But these units are also a bit different, they have a cost. And this cost will play a very important role in the role game mode. On the left of the screen, this cost is summed together. Currently, it's 900. And just a little side note that the dollar symbol is just temporary. In the future, I'm expecting it to be replaced with a proper Dwarven currency. Now, the fight begins. This works as usual, so just enjoy and watch the numbers decrease on the left. Alright, that was the last enemy and this is the victory screen where on the central position you can see the total cost, which is 900. Now the battle has been designed, but this is just part of one. Now the same battle can be played through again, but this time by some other people and these other people will compete against your previous cost. In the final version they can only place their own allies and the goal is to find a more efficient combination against the same enemy groups. Let me speed up the rest of the battle for you. All right, and a victor again. This time we can see that the player has earned a golden trophy. This is because he has beaten the original battle cost. Now, let's play it again, but this time, as player adds more soldiers, you can notice that the trophy gets less valuable. So, first it becomes a silver trophy, and then it gets to a bronze trophy. In conclusion, this game mode allows some players to design battles and others can try to beat them by beating the author's original cost. I'm not saying it's completely ready, 
it's still in a prototyping phase. Uh, there are a lot of things I'm not really happy about, but there is just so much that I can improve and fix myself. At one point, I really need to start gathering players' feedback, and this is where you can help me. In next two weeks, I'm planning to wrap up this game mode, and simultaneously, I will release it in my Discord server. Now, this demo will be quite buggy and definitely not production ready, but with your input, I'm hoping to improve it over time. So, here's my plan for the next two weeks. First, I'm adding a sharing option where everyone can play battles made by other people. Then I'm going to fix a bunch of present issues. For example, this panel here definitely needs some redesigning. And finally, to keep my content quality high, I will stop making weekly videos and instead do a bit longer and better videos in every two weeks. So goodbye and see you again in two weeks.